on October 21, 1833. A baby boy was born to a family of Emanuel Nobel and Andriette Alsell Nobel in Stockholm, Sweden, who was to become a famous scientist, inventor, businessman and founder of the Nobel Prize. They named their son Alfred. Alfred's father was an engineer and inventor. He built bridges and buildings and experimented with different ways of blasting rocks. The same year that Alfred was born, his father's business suffered losses and had to be closed. In 1837 Emmanuel Nobel decided to try his business somewhere else and left for Finland and Russia. Alfred's mother was left in Stockholm to take care of the family. At this time, Alfred had two older brothers. Robert born in 1829 and Ludwig born in 1831. After a time, Emmanuel Nobel's business in St. Petersburg, Russia started doing well. He had opened a mechanical workshop that provided equipment for the Russian army. He also made the Russian Tsar and his generals believe that sea mines could be used to stop enemy ships from entering and attacking St. Petersburg. With his success in Russia, Emmanuel was now able to move his family to St. Petersburg in 1842. By 1843, another boy was born into the family, Emil. At the age of 17, Alfred could speak and write in Swedish, Russian, French, English, and German. Was most interested in literature, chemistry and physics. However, his father wanted his sons to follow in his footsteps, and was not pleased with Alfred's interest in poetry. He decided to send the young man abroad to study and become a chemical engineer. In Paris, Alfred worked in the private laboratory of Professor T.J. Pelouse, a famous chemist. There, he met a young Italian chemist, Ascanio Sobrero. Three years earlier, Sobrero had invented nitroglycerin, a highly explosive liquid, and at the time was considered too dangerous to be of practical use. Alfred became very interested in nitroglycerin and how it could be used in construction work. When he returned back to Russia after his studies, he worked together with his father to develop nitroglycerin as a commercially and technically useful explosive. After the Crimean War ended, the business of Alfred's father went badly and he decided to move back to Sweden. Alfred's elder brothers, Robert and Ludwig stayed in Russia to try and save what was left of the family business. They became successful and went on to develop the oil industry in the southern part of Russia. After the Nobel family's return to Sweden in 1863, Alfred concentrated on developing nitroglycerin as an explosive. Sadly, these experiments resulted in accidents that killed several people, including Alfred's younger brother, Emil. Alfred did not give up and moved his experiments to a barge on Lake Maelren. In 1864, he was able to start mass production of nitroglycerin. But he did not stop experimenting with different additives to make the production much safer. Alfred found, through his experiments, that mixing nitroglycerin with a fine sand called kieselger would turn the liquid into paste which could be shaped into rods. These rods could then be inserted into drilling holes. The invention was made in 1866. 
Alfred got a patent ownership on this material the next year. He named it dynamite. He also invented a detonator which could be set off by lighting a fuse. These inventions were made at a time when the diamond drilling crown and pneumatic drill came into general use. Together, these inventions helped reduce the cost of many construction work like drilling tunnels, blasting rocks, building bridges. He lived in Paris but often traveled to his factories in more than 20 countries. He was once described as Europe's richest vagabond. He worked intensively in Stockholm, Hamburg, Ardeer, Paris, and Severn, Karlskoga and San Remo. Alfred died in San Remo, Italy. In his will, he wrote that much of his fortune was to be used to give prizes to those who have done their best for humanity in the field of physics, chemistry, physiology or medicine, literature and peace. Not everybody was pleased with this. His will was opposed by his relatives and questioned by authorities in various countries. In 1901, the first Nobel Prizes in Physics, Chemistry, Medicine and Literature were first awarded in Stockholm, Sweden, and the Peace Prize in Christiania, now Oslo, Norway.